Greetings, my hatchlings. I return to you. Yes, with another vlog. Yay. So yeah, hi. Uh, I've returned again. And um, I wanted to show you guys something else I got. I've been really busy lately with like work once again. And um, I've been hunting a lot for rare Metroid things on the internet, of course. And I just am so excited for them all. I've just bought a whole bunch of stuff. And I want to show you guys all gradually, one by one, about everything I've gotten and stuff. And it's really cool. So yeah, um, today I want to show you guys something like kind of i mean it is measure related but kind of not it's not really i don't think it's official but it's really really cool and uh sorry if it takes me a little bit picking it up it's in be it's in pieces right now so yeah um i'll grab it so this is basically what i got oh, sorry um it's a new figure and uh this is just a picture of it um like i said i don't know, really know if it's official but it is a zero suit samus uh resin model kit thing that you put together and you uh paint yourself and stuff so yeah that's really cool and uh, this is just a picture that uh of, of the actual statue painted and finished uh does the statue does not look like this right now it hasn't been painted or assembled or anything i have to do that myself but it's basically uh what's it called one six of a scale or something so it's pretty big i actually thought it was gonna be smaller but because the picture looks kind of small but it's actually really big and it's her metroid prime zero suit my favorite one yay i mean i'm wearing the other m one right now but you know it's still pretty cool so yeah, this is just a picture that came with the package, just to give you an idea what it's gonna look like. Hopefully mine does look that good once I assemble it and paint it, but yeah, I'll show you the actual figure. Um, oh wait, it also came with this paper thingy, hold on. Hi. Uh, sorry, let me try to unfold it. Uh, and you're now, sorry, it's hard to do this one hand. So yeah, it comes with this paper thingy, shows a picture of all the pieces and numbers and stuff, and kind of scary when you look at it. It looks like a weird, I don't know, creepy, mannequin or doll thing but anyway yeah um so the figure comes in bits and pieces here's the gun and i don't know what else that is but it has numbers on it and uh they come in a little uh bubble wrap thing yay my favorite i love popping bubble wrap sorry my camera's kind of off um but yeah here's the gun and i don't know what else that is i think it's like a donut or something and then her finger i don't know and her hair you know the hair bangs stuff like that her weird little hairstyle thing she wears which is really inconvenient to wear inside of a helmet if you ask me because i'm looking at it and i'm like why would you want to wear this hairstyle in a helmet like the bangs and the hair on the front i get that it's like sort of anime and stuff but wouldn't that like give you some serious like helmet hair i don't know to me i would not wear that hairstyle like i have my hair up right now sort of but with bangs i guess it's sort of like metro prime style i don't know anyway uh and we have this one just kind of weird i'll take it out of the bubble wrap so oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to get so close hi Sorry, if you see boogers and food and stuff I just ate. I just had some uh, Chinese food and a bunch of soda and junk food, because I love junk food. Anyway, um, here's her face. It's kind of creepy, actually. It doesn't have the bangs on, but it kind of looks really anime and looks serious. Almost looks kind of Zelda-y, too, but I love the face and stuff. She's got some mad thick hair. I'm jealous. But yeah, there's the head, basically. Kind of creepy. Uh, that's cool, though. I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. Anyway, and um, here's her hair and arms. That's pretty cool. Some thick ponytail hair right there. Kill us once again. But yeah, that's really cool. Um, it's resin. That's awesome. This is my first resin kit I'll be putting together. So that'll be fun. And here's her body and her leg. It's actually, like I said, really big. Like her leg is extremely long. It's like as long as my, my head. So I'm like, wow, this is going to be a pretty big figure. Way bigger than I thought it was. So yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, um, the figure, once finished, is going to look like that. And it's really pretty. And I like the pose. It's really cool. It didn't come with the little clear disc, though, but um, or paints or anything like that. So I got to like assemble this and put it together myself. Sorry, just switching hands because my arm's tired. Hi. So yeah, um, I guess it won't look like that one. Oh, by the way, when I looked it up on eBay, you, you can buy this figure, too, on painted and stuff just uh separately stuff uh but it looks like the figure that i'm getting or that i'm gonna be this one that i got sorry is kind of gonna look like that one i guess i mean it's the same suit kind of the same pose almost um stuff like that so yeah that'll be pretty cool i am really excited to get started on it and uh i did make my own clay figures in the past but that was a sculpy clay by bacon them and stuff i don't really have much experience when it comes to resin kit models or assembling them or painting them whatsoever so it'd be cool if, like you guys out there who like do this as like a hobby have any like um whoops have any um 
some share some of your expert opinions or any have any ideas for me what paints I should get what brands what primers like what stand or something what am I supposed to glue this thing together because like I said I'm kind of dumb when it comes to assembling my own figures so this thing I've got to put it together but it doesn't look like it's going to stay together unless it has some type of glue or some type of help holding it together I don't know you guys out there who've done this as a hobby maybe you could like enlighten me because I'm kind of like ignorant on the matter I'm sorry but yeah um if you guys want one just go on ebay write down like zero suit resin kit and they got them on there i think i got i mine came from thailand so um it took a little bit while and the shipping's kind of expensive but i'm i'm glad it came because i can add to my collection and it'll be awesome and fun to put together i'm really excited and i have other figures coming too and other things i'm just so excited to show you guys so yeah i plan on making a vlog on each and every one of them because i think it'll be fun and cool to show you guys my collection it growing it's growing really fast if you ask me even though nothing really is change much but uh you know samus is falling over right there she's i don't know she collapsed she got hungry and just fell over but yeah um so yeah that's what's been going on um just been working like i said sleeping trying to like stay healthy and not go mad or crazy or anything and just enjoying this extreme heat like i need i've been wearing my very suit practically every day because i cannot withstand this heat without it and yeah um, I feel like I was gonna say something else. Um, just yeah, thought I'd show you guys that figure. And if you guys have any suggestions for paints, someone, one of my dear hatchlings mentioned some paint I could use. What was what was the brand? I don't remember, but it was like some legacy. You know what was it? I don't remember. I'm sorry, but I don't remember. But they were really nice paints, but they're kind of expensive. But oh well, it's worth it, especially for Samus. So yeah, hopefully I can get mine to look as nice as that one in the picture, because that'd be cool. And yeah. Mm. I tried doing my hair different today, but also I'm wearing a bun and stuff. And I also have a really, really pretty hair comb. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, sorry. I know it's not really metro related, but I am seriously into like Chinese hair combs and Chinese hair jewelry. I love it. That one's like my favorite right now. And I've got plenty more. Maybe I could make a vlog on those someday. But yeah, irrelevant, I know. But yeah, I've basically just been chilling out in my room in my house because it's too freaking hot outside to do anything. And. I have been eating Chinese food and junk food and watching Sailor Moon today and just watching anime and just chilling out by myself because I like to be alone. And then maybe I'll play some Metro Prime later because I've been really dying to play that game again. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know of any suggestions and like what glue to use to glue that figure together because I've got no idea. I want something that's going to work. I don't know. I don't think super glue would be the right type. I know they make... Maybe, maybe Gorilla Glue. I don't know. I'm not really a master when it comes to gluing figures together, especially resin. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you got any uh, suggestions. And um, let me know how your how everything's been going. And yeah, um, stupid collar. Ugh. But yeah, um, I guess I will see you guys next mission. Yay. Bye. Crap, I forgot to turn this thing off. I'm sorry. Oh, turn off. Turn off.